What is up YouTube, DJ K coming at you with a quick little video. I want to talk about the new Tractor Control Z2 mixer that Native Instruments is coming out with. Um, I think you can pre-order it now. I haven't seen it on any sites like Sweetwater, Z Zounds, or American Musical as of yet. But it's going for $899. I, I think the price is a little high for a two-channel DJ mixer. But it's like I guess you can say it's a mixer slash controller. So... Maybe that's why it costs the uh, the amount of money that it does. Another reason I think it got that high price on it is because it has a USB hub on the back of it, which is nice. You know, that's really nice. That's what a lot of uh, products that's coming out with now. They got a USB hub on it, like the NPC Renaissance, which is got it has a USB hub on it. It has two extra ports. It got actually three ports, and this mixer has the same thing. It has three ports on it, I believe. Um, one port that goes to your laptop or a computer or whatever, and the other two ports is for you to hook up other external external gear like a F1 or X1 or something like that, which is really good if you if you rock in with a laptop, you definitely need more USB ports. So this is something I see happening with all new gear that's coming out in the future. They're gonna always put more USB ports on there for you. That's something that a lot of companies should have been doing. I don't know why they just now starting to do that. Some companies are just now starting to do it. But um, it has a 24-bit sound card in it, which is pretty nice. It's, it comes with a special version of Tractor 2.6, which is just for this, this controller, which I think that's really nice. It also has a removable top, removable top panels. So later on down the road, it's pretty much saying here that they may come out with... Uh, skins for it so you can put um, a customized skin on it or whatever that I guess Native Instruments will put out to make more money <laughs> which is pretty smart on their part like they did with the new machine MK2 and it says here that it has three inno faders in it which is pretty freaking that's pretty good that's real good the inno fader if you don't know about that fader that's a really good um, fader made by a company called inno fader so it's really, really smooth, real high quality faders. They're designed to respond really nice. So I think it's going to be a real good mixer when it comes out. Will I get one? Uh, I want one, but man, I'm about to spend some money on this Ren, this Renaissance now. So I don't know. I already got a, a tractor control S4. So right now I'm just going to use what I got. And maybe later on down the road. See, these companies just keep coming out with product around the holidays, you know, to get paid even more money. They're making a killing off of us, off of all us consumers out here. So I, I got to say that I probably won't be getting it right now. Another thing I didn't mention, it does have this new feature called Flux Mode. It's very similar to uh, Slip Mode that a lot of CDJ units now include. The track keeps playing while you use effects or scratch the track and then jumps back to where the track would would have been. That's a new mode they have called flux mode. And of course it got uh effects, macro effects, and they got a it got post fader effects. Anyway, I won't be getting it only because man, it's more money I gotta spend, so that's the only reason I won't get it. But I think it's pretty cool they put an faders in there. That's pretty nice, man. That's real nice. All right, so yeah, with that being said, I'll see y'all on the next video. I know I ain't saying much about the mixer. Y'all y'all already know about it. Ain't really much more I can say about it. I don't have it. I don't have the unit. I wish I did. If I did, I would be making a lot of videos with it. Uh, Native Instruments, if you heard that, you know maybe y'all can send me one, which I seriously doubt. But <laughs> would be nice if I could get one of those mixers. But um, yeah. That's about it. I'll see you guys on the next video. DJK is out.